In this video, we will demonstrate the correct installation of a resin injection anchor for use in hollow materials, such as perforated bricks, hollow bricks, and hollow core concrete beams. The perforated or mesh sleeves control the resin, which bonds with substrate adjacent to it and forms an interlock in any void. Ensure that the resin to be installed is the exact type specified and carries a European Technical Assessment, or ETA. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions as detailed on the packaging and always wear the appropriate PPE. Make sure you have the correct tools for the installation, as shown here. Only use drill bits which carry the PGM mark of quality assurance. This will ensure that the drill bit diameter is manufactured to specify controlled dimension. Before installation, check that the components to be used are as specified and that the resin is suitable for the base material. The cartridge should be in date and the ambient temperature within usable range. Start by drilling the hole to the correct diameter and depth. This may break through in perforated bricks. This is no problem. Thoroughly clean the hole by brushing and blowing up to three times to ensure that all debris is removed and that the wall of the drilled hole is ready for bonding. Insert the mesh sleeve into the hole. Insert the cartridge into the dispenser and fit the mixer nozzle. Pump the first two trigger pulls to waste to ensure even mixing. Pump resin into the base of the sleeve, withdrawing nozzle slowly to avoid entrapping air. Fill the sleeve completely and close the centralising cone. Immediately insert the anchor rod in a rotating action into the injected resin. Any adjustments to the stud must be performed immediately after insertion, before the start of the curing process. Allow time for the resin to fully cure according to manufacturer instructions. This will depend on temperature. Damp substrates and lower temperatures will increase curing time. Be aware only certain resin types are suitable for damp and wet conditions. After the resin has fully cured, Mount the fixture carefully over the studs and tighten using a torque wrench to the manufacturer's specified torque. Any cured resin deposits covering the thread may be carefully chipped away. Ensure that the correct anchor is being installed as specified. Drill to the correct diameter and depth. Check that the resin is in date. Clean the hole thoroughly by brushing and blowing up to three times. Discard two complete trigger pulls of resin to ensure correct mixing. Observe the manufacturer's curing time and avoid contact with the fixing during the curing process. Tighten to the manufacturer's specified torque. This video is a guide only, so be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions during installation. You can find more demonstrations just like this one on our website the-cfa.co.uk as well as method statements and technical advice and documentation.